All right, so if you want frames like this, then follow this FPS and best settings guide for Warzone Caldera. And just before we start, I'm just gonna explain what we're gonna go through here. First, we're gonna go through the in-game settings just so you guys have the best settings there. Then what we're gonna go through is the best window settings just so you guys are running that perfectly fine. And third, but not last, we're gonna go through all the NVIDIA pa control panel settings Plus, we're going to go through the best NVIDIA drivers, just so you guys have that as well. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and just make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. So, basically, what we're going to start on is the render resolution. You're going to make sure that matches your monitor. My monitor is base, uh, 1440p, so I'm going to put it on 1440p right here. If you're on uh, 1080p, you could just change this to 1080, no problem. Dynamic resolution, you don't really want this on. You probably want this disabled. Uh, but I just put up the uh, dynamic resolution frame rate uh, just because, but I always have it disabled. Um, the sync uh, every frame, you want this disabled uh, just because you want to see people even faster and this adds input delay. So you definitely want that disabled in general. The custom frame rate limit, this actually depends. Now, if, you're, if you find that your PC is getting too hot uh, and you want to limit that heat, what you want to do is set it to custom and then you want to copy this right here gameplay 300 menu uh custom 60 and out of focus custom 30. what this does it's going to limit your frames to 300 but it's going to make sure that your pc isn't just wasting performance on the main menu so that's going to be perfectly fine right there or you could just put it to unlimited if you really don't uh, have to worry about that and you have really good cooling and that's going to give you really good frames right there as well now for the brightness, what you got to do is you got to set that to, I personally set mine to 55 just so I could see on the map. Um, so you can just set this to anything that you prefer and that's going to be perfectly fine. Now these are the really important settings right here, guys. So you definitely want to uh, copy these just to make sure you have the max frames possible while having a good looking game. Field of view, I use uh, 120 with affected, uh, but that's all personal preference right there. Camera movement, I set this to the lowest. So you want to set this to 50%. Uh, and that's just going to minimize uh, just motion like happening everywhere, basically. Uh, streaming quality, that should be low as well. Uh, texture resolution, I set this to very low or you could set it to low. That one doesn't really matter that much. Uh, anatropic uh, texture filter and it's a tropic, however you say it. You're gonna wanna set this to high if you want a good looking game. Uh, so that's gonna be, um, that's just gonna make the textures and surfaces look a little bit better there. Uh, the, t the particle quality, you could set this to high as well and it won't uh, impact your frames that much. Uh, and that should be good right there. Your bullet impact rays, you're gonna wanna make sure that that's disabled. Tessellation, you're gonna wanna make sure that's disabled. Uh, dismember, uh, dismemberment uh, and gore effects Ooh, uh, i'm gonna uh definitely disable that if you're getting a lot of packet burst on demand texture streaming you probably want that disabled because it minimizes the packet burst when it is disabled if you're having trouble with stutters you definitely want to restart your shader installation and that should help with like the stutters and everything as well now with the post-processing effects the filmic strength zero film grain zero and anti-aliasing you can actually put this at smaa 1x or off it's just personal preference there it doesn't make a big frame difference so you can put it to whatever you like the depth of field you want this disabled uh motion blur of course disabled uh weapon motion blur you want this disabled as well shadow map resolution you you're gonna want this disabled for sure um, I mean, not disabled, but low, uh, and these are probably the two most important settings, guys, on this menu. Cache spot shadows, cache sun shadows, you always, always want these enabled. Every time you load up to a game, you have to make sure these are enabled, and you have to check each time, because Warzone likes resetting them. So if you make sure these are enabled, that's an instant FPS boost right there. 
Particle lighting, you can set this to high if you want to. I just leave mine to low because I prefer the maximum frames possible. Direct ray tracing, this takes up a lot of frames, guys. So you definitely don't want to be using this. You want that disabled. Ambient occlusion, you want that disabled. And SSR, you want that disabled. Uh, and that's what basically all the pros uh, in Warzone use. And if you have DLSS and you play on 1440p, you can change it to DLSS quality. And that should be more frames but i just leave dlss disabled as a whole just because i like my game looking really good um so that should be good right there and the last thing is for the display mode you always want to make sure you're running full screen guys if you're not running full screen windows does a weird thing where it doesn't prioritize your game as much so you definitely definitely want to always be running full screen now let's get into the fun part so now the fun part is going to be enhancing your frames and if you haven't watched my other videos i would suggest you go back after this video go watch those because those still apply to warzone but i'm going to show you guys some stuff about enhancing your frames right here so basically what we're going to start with is we're going to start with the documents so you're going to go into files documents you're going to go to call of duty modern warfare you're going to go into players then you're going to go to advanced options so from here you can see right here that my video memory skill is 0 0.9 you definitely want to put it on 0 0.9 because that's going to make sure that you're using like mostly all of your gpu and then your render work count this is going to be the hardest part to explain guys because it's different for all of you guys everybody's going to have a different one so i'm going to explain it like this if you are on an intel your render work count should be uh should be around six right if you are on amd it's a little more tricky so if you're on amd your render work count should be half of your cores but the minimum is four so basically let's say i have a 5950x and i have 16 cores right my render work count is going to be eight if i have a 5900x with 12 cores my render work count is going to be six now here's where it gets tricky if i have a 5800x with eight cores my render work count is going to be four and now if i have a 5600x with only six cores my render work count is not going to be three it is still going to be four so if you follow that, you should be perfectly fine with render work count. And this should um, give you like just a match performance in general. This really helps. Another thing here is you are going to want to uh, enable hardware acceleration here. So I have an AMD, um, I have an AMD uh, gaming rig. So I don't have this here, but I'll show you guys on my streaming PC. All right, guys, so I'm on my streaming PC now, and this has an NVIDIA card in it. So basically, to boost your FPS, to make sure your game is running perfectly smooth on Warzone Caldera, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go and type in graphic settings. And once you type in graphic settings, you're going to click change default uh, settings. If you're on Windows 10, you don't even have to click on that. You'll just see it right away. And you'll see hardware acceleration, GPU scheduling. Guys, you, you got to make sure this is on because this is just going to boost your FPS and make sure everything is crispy. The game's just going to run so much smoother when you have this on. Trust me. Then you're going to go to NVIDIA control panel. And this is just for the NVIDIA users right here. And sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to give you NVIDIA users a little bit more sauce here. So basically the best driver right now for warzone caldera is going to be 472.12 now if you are having problems with that driver what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to probably update to the newest driver which is 497.09 and that might help if that doesn't help what you can do is watch my previous video about how to reinstall a new driver and that's gonna boost your FPS as well while cleaning out all the old drivers on your system in general. So if you need help with drivers, definitely watch my last video and that should help you a lot. And 
I'm going to go through with you exactly what you have to change. So for the vertical sync, you want to make sure that's off. Threaded optimization, you want to make sure that is on. Texture filter quality, uh, filtering quality, you want to make sure that's high quality. Uh, power management mode, you want to make sure that is maximum performance right there. Uh, for the preferred refresh rate, you could just click highest available. That way you always have that highest refresh rate. Uh, and that should be about it for uh, the major things in the... Uh, the manage 3d settings and that should give you a little fps boost right there now this is the thing with g-sync if you care about a smooth game and you want everything to like look smooth you want to enable g-sync if you care about minimal input delay you want to disable g-sync guys so it's just personal preference when it comes to this it's just what you like in general but i usually have it disabled now for the fun part let's say Caldera is not looking as smooth for you. you. You're not getting the colors you want. You're not getting the textures you want. Here is my NVIDIA color settings for Caldera. So you're free to try it out if you like. So for the brightness, you want that at 55%. For the contrast, you want this at 55%, right? This is the, this is the little sauce right here for the gamma, guys. You want this at 1.19%. And for your digital vibrance, you want this at 75%. And that's just going to make your game, guys, like when you launch into Caldera, look so much better, guys. Trust me. If you use these settings, like Caldera is just going to look way better without NVIDIA filters. Uh, so that's going to give you a nice looking game with the maximum FPS performance right there. So I hope that helped guys. And if you want even more FPS, you can always, always visit my past videos as those are still relevant and those will still gain you frames. Um, and if you want your FPS or your PC setup in general tuned like professional players or professional content creators, then you can always visit sensequality.com and we got you covered there. But I hope you guys enjoy and make sure you like and subscribe. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.